You see what I'm saying? Like that, 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 that point and, uh, uh, and and the top five, you can go back on the top five. Dog. That's your main thing. We'll go then, everywhere there. Eh? But I just feel Is like... Is that your main? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the wife? Yeah, yeah. I just feel like we should, we should nice, also nice. like uh, you as a, besides yeah besides uh, he knows my wife did I tell my wife before no no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know I, you know I, I asked the girl that I think I'm gonna marry ne? how many bodies does she have do you think that's an appropriate question to ask a woman how many bodies do you do you have because I think for me a wife Can more than that it matters it means you shouldn't. I shouldn't care at all. You're gonna put it in a cup or it's fine. Either. Nah, it's don't fine. Have a problem. No, it. As we don't have a problem. Ah, bro, I don't have a problem. Well, yeah, so. I put it like this. Nah, it's they, fine. Like, like I was saying, though, do you care about like your wife's ex? Uh, the no, past? no, no, I don't care because every relationship I come in, yeah. I, make, I make a huge difference. I don't just date a woman sexually, I bring the woman. So I'll forever be remembered. She'll forever remember me whether I'm there, I'm there or I'm gone. Or I'm oh, so you are Bob the Builder? Yeah, yeah, me, I build the woman. <laughs> you are the Reaper. Yeah, me, I build the, the Reaper. Like I, build, I, I, I don't believe. So are we rolling? Ne? Yeah, I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, please grab the mic. I'm not that bro who kills women money. Mm. I teach you how to make money. You know? Yeah, that's true. So, <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so the boys are back, ladies and gentlemen. We have a very special guest. You know, you know, a lot of people want to hear more from you. You saw the comments ne? from from the MacG one. Everybody was like, yo, this Fiso guy sounds like he has something interesting to say. Yeah? Oh, no, I don't read the comments. Apart from the, I don't read the comments apart from the ones that were screenshot and sent to me. Yeah. Yeah, but... Who was the one sending you the screenshot? Some celebrities. Yeah. Uh, and some people I have on my WhatsApp You, as you well. know a lot of celebrities. Now, people don't actually know, like, what have you done? Who are you? How do you know all these people, you know? Let, let's start with something I mean, like, that you have done. I want to start with, like, you as a person then we can go into how you got into the industry. Like, where do you come from? Uh, what type of person? Like, how was your upbringing and those kind of stuff? Oh, I, yeah, my upbringing, my, my upbringing. Yo, bro, um, um, oh, crazy, man. Real crazy, 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 crazy. Um, I grew up in the streets. I was a street kid. Uh, my mom gave birth to me. I don't know her. Yeah. Wherever she is, shout out to her. Yeah. Uh, you don't know your mom? No, 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 I don't know my mom. I've never seen my mom. I don't know how she looks like. So she gave you up to the streets? like. She yeah, yeah, she you. gave birth to me. And then I think an hour, two hours old, dumped me in some container. In a place called the Bukwini. So she dumped me there. And then there's this woman was going to work. She had a baby crying in that container. Um, <laughs> this is what I was told. Uh, then she... And then... Uh, she picked me up and took me to a police station and met this old man. Now he's an old man now, Uka uh, Jane, He helped, he helped her raise me until I was six. Her name was Isakel. Mm. So he helped her raise me until I was six, like financially and whatnot. There was a lot of poverty back then. Um, and then she dies by the age when, she, she dies now when I'm six, Six, seven, and now I'm left with aunties, I mean, with her sisters. And what happened then was everything wrong that, uh, that happened in the house was my fault. Like everything, like, so she hated you? Yeah, they hated me because, I don't know, man, I don't know. I, I, I don't think they hated it. I, I was just um like. Mm. You're a burden. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And this, remember, 1982, there's a lot of poverty back mm. then. Uh, and there was just so much going on for black people. And there's a lot of poverty, Emlas. Mm. A lot of poverty. Mm. Uh, so, uh, when she dies, and then I'm left with the aunties, and then, uh, like I said, everything wrong that happened in the house was my fault. And then one day, a bike, a, bis a bike, a bicycle. A bicycle, yeah. Yeah, yeah, gets lost from the neighbor's house. Um, back then, the BMX. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is B BMX. So I love the BMX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The BMX gets lost. It was a huge thing back then. And it gets lost. And then, 
And then the neighbors go around and look for it. And then my aunt, they come to the house and ask, hey, I don't remember the kid. And then my aunt, I think randomly just ask, I think it's that thing of getting used to say everything wrong. It's, it's him. It must be him. Yo. And I'm like six, seven then. So it, uh, then the neighbors actually believed it and they took me to their house, locked me in. Um... They locked me in the house for like almost the whole day without food or anything. So me, me there, I was just praying. But mama, kabuye talk like, can mama now the lady that died? I was just like, hey, like, can you please come open the door and let me out? I'll make sure I don't come back here and I'll make sure I don't bother anybody ever again. And she did that. And when they did open, I just walked. What do you mean she did that? Like the door opened. They didn't open for me. Or is like, it just like it opened on its own. by itself? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm young, but I don't yeah, remember them seats. opening. Actually, saying yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Like I don't remember them. That's why I'm young. Like I don't know if those, 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 those ladies, but will they open the door and and just left it open for me to walk. But if they did, they would have said Pumala. And that didn't happen. So I just saw the door opening, and I was like, hey. It's and when I walked out, there was literally nobody I saw. I still have the images to date. Like, I saw nobody there too. So I just left. And I walked and I passed the house. Actually passed the house. And I walked straight to town. How I end up in town, 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 CBD? To date, I don't know. I might have got a lift or something. I was young, man. I was really young. You're so six. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Oh. So you walked to town and then what did you do? So I walked to town. I stayed under the bridge, bro. And I had a lot of mothers under the bridge. They rank. Uh, I was living between ranks, YMCA rank in in, in Teben and the one April. So how would you would you would they allow you to get on the taxi and you just be traveling between the two ranks? No, no, no. It's a walking distance. Oh, it's a walking distance. So what what happened then is I got comfortable in a rank. You couldn't rank a man dia at Teben, and then go back on a leg. So I think we say lap, So I would stay with those ladies. About pega la pa labo mama about pega la pa ana. Why would you stay there? No, 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 for food. Mm. So I would make fire in the AMs for them. I mean, I'm staying in the streets, so I'm a boxing. Mm. So I'd wake up very early and go there, make the fire. So I'd make the fire number one, and number, I still remember, Bengenza, number one. Uh, Bengenza, number one, number five, number 14, you know, number 13. I use those for a lot of my passwords. See, so I still, I still, I still remember that. Um, so now I had food now, mm. and they would bring me clothes and be like, hey. they, would, they, would, they would bring me clothes. So I wasn't like a very dirty kid, but mm. not like so healthy kid as well. Mm. And I never done drugs, on I would never done yaupe and none of those things. But mm. I was with the bruise there. I like I lived in between the danger and all those things. I understand everything about the streets. So how did you get out? Like, how long were you there, and how did you get out of the streets? How long was I there? Uh, I know there's McDonald's. Oh, uh, when I was in the streets, how I moved from that that bridge we used to stay. Mm. Uh, they used to rape a girl there. They, I, I didn't know back then it was rape. You didn't understand it. No, no, I didn't understand. Those are more. I used to sell them a So, sure. so according to Anes Lulai, like because I'm not about to be with you, like Tala, like but better give and jalba suke station. So before back in Bali takes, so before Bahamba, Bamba shwe, Mamba shwe, I'm a takes. I cast better you. They would come to a box and rape. Now I understand it was rape. Yo. So um, one day I decided, fuck no, why, why in Jalu labantu Mamba buya la? There was this gangster was very, 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 very feared. Mumla, mm. uh, he was really feared. So he would come there and people would just look at him and would come rape, obviously. And then one day I decided, for me, but it was like, why am I and Jal? And that's in I guess. So mm. I collected boxes. Mm. Um, I collected boxes of, I mean, I collected bottles mm. of alcohol. And I figured I'm trying to get a little So as I'm sleeping, I hear them coming, bro. The minute I heard that screaming again, so I went in and broke the bottles, started fighting, fighting, fighting for those bruises, bro. I still have a scar here. That's crazy. Of them stepping me back. Yeah. He stepped you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what made you want to do that? I don't know. I'm young, remember? And she, she was like a beautiful kid. Uh, very beautiful kid. Uh, I'll show you some pictures of her now. She's a woman. Like everything, like she's, she's good in life now. We made it out of the streets together. She became my sister. Mm. So she's now the only family I have. 
Mm. I've heard you talk about your sister a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she's now the only sister, literally sister I have. Like the check up, she will call. Yeah, boy, and be like, I took Lobola on 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 her behalf. Mm. Yeah, well, so she's now the only sister I have. So we had to move from the area; it was dangerous for us. We have to move. Because and you stay. fought with those guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna go stay a point by the waters. Mm. And lucky enough, Deben was not that cold at the moment. Like it's never cold. Deben is. Yeah, it's the humidity yeah, and it's yeah, warm, yeah. stay there and and we stay there. So I would hide her in the bridge because I know. Mm. So I would walk to McDonald's, YMCA. So I used to collect food at McDonald's, mm. YMCA. It's long distance uh, mm. taxi rank. I used to collect food there, and uh, it was the the, the, the waiters or abandoned restaurants are packed. They would give me boxes. Then I would collect the food because I nyangi sinjenga bostiers doesn't have a lot of sauce. Mm. So I would collect. It's not messy. Yeah, it's not messy. I would collect and it still look clean and they mm. take it to her and be packing thing in. I should be excited. You see, I'm, I'm pandering and, and she doesn't now have to go. And she couldn't go out because people yeah, were probably looking for her. Like I'm asking because I'm alone, man. When you party, the moment When you look at her, you just want to touch. Mm. But she, she was that kid that mom Peggy like I don't have time. Is it is it not because she was like alone? Like she, you could visibly see you could see this person like there's no one. You know who's gonna do something about it? I don't know when I was I was young. Yeah, we were all young. Yeah, mm. sure, sure. We were all young. So now that you're going fetching food every day and everything. Yeah, so this guy, white guy, I noticed me. Uh, his name is Charles. He's Italian. I remember in Deben the. They spot a lot of taxis. There's a lot of graphics. Emma takes in. That started. That thing started way back. Mm. Emma takes in. So he used to see me collect. One day he asked, "Hey, what is this kid doing here?" And and the lady's like, "No, no, no. He's taking food for his sister. What sister? Why is he even mm, right?" Is... So it's like, "Hey, call him. Let, let, let tell him to leave that." So I go in and be like, "Hey, why are you doing?" I'm like, "No, I'm collecting food for my sister. Where is your sister? What's going on?" So I tell him the story. And he's like, no, let's buy this. He bought the food. He's like, mm. leave this food. Let's go meet your sister. Mm. And then we go. And then he meets my sister. Like, but why are you guys in the street? So my sister explains to him, no, 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 my stepfather, mm. young shy. Mm. But remember, she's young. We young shy. Mm. Oh, you see what I'm saying? At young shy. Yeah, but so, I'm so he's raping her. Yeah, yeah. I'm so now I know it's rape. Right, right, right. Now I know it's rape. So I'm so full of salagamash. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, no sugar mash. And then Mina Balega go pi a a a a a a mlas a pukuin. So that's how she became my sister. So that boy like no 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 stay in my workshop. Mm. Lucky enough, his workshop, his workshop was just opposite the same rank, like McDonald's, YMCA, long distance. Mm. Uh, taxi rank his workshop was there and then there was a place where a lot of bros used to fix cars there and then say from now on you see, you stay here wake up in the morning and clean here and make sure everything is clean so they would do windscreens there repair glasses and uh, graphics like uh, put signage in cars mm. and whatnot. I'm really good at that shit uh, I do that in my sleep like if you talk to me graphics to do this stuff I'll do it any, at any given time mm. but I didn't go to school Mm. I learned it from him, mm. so I, I I got a skill from him then, mm. and and when he died, uh, when he died, he left me with fifteen thousand rands. He told his wife to give me. It was in a will. Fifteen thousand rand was a lot of money back then. Yeah, it was a real a lot of money. Where were you going to get fifteen thousand from? Then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot of money back then. I didn't have a bank account. But how old were you at that time? Um, now 15, 17. The 15, 17. 15, yeah, 15, 17. Yeah. And I know how to remove a windscreen in a car and put it. I know how to, like, let's say, I'm a police, so if I kick graphic, I'll do that alone. Mm. I know, like, from, from, there were designs, we just print them out to, uh, to take, to send them to the print and then print it out. It comes with its own glue already and whatever. So we would do that. So I'm, I'm really good at that. So where did you go with this 15,000? So with 15,000, uh, I was like, no, man, fuck it, man. Everybody dies who tries to help me. And I'm like, let me leave South Africa. At that moment, I'm like, I'm leaving South Africa. I'm going to take my sister 
leave South Africa, we are going overseas. Yeah. <laughs> With 15,000. Like, fuck this shit, we're going overseas. Crazy. Right? And when me leaving overseas, I get there, um, like, we get to back session. Yeah. There was still... <laughs> uh, Bro, I thought you was going to tell me about, like, <laughs> or tell New York, or, LA. Yeah, 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 but like, I'm young, and that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, I'm in South Africa, like, let me go. So I get to Park Station in Devon, in Devon. There was this bus that is no longer... It had the yellow stickers. I say Rodling, was it Rodling? It had yellow stickers, it's not there. It's, it's not like there a Translux or Greyhound. Greyhound, but there's one that 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 will it's no it doesn't exist anymore. But road link, I say road link, like, like luxurious traveling buses, or is it yeah, like no, they, no, no buses, like oh. buses, yeah. Oh. So I get there and I check the board there. I see yo Cape Town, <laughs> then I see East London, and I'm like yes, <laughs> Cape Town. I'm overseas. leaving South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like yes. fuck it, yes. I'm leaving South Africa. <laughs> yo. I'm leaving South Africa. Uh, so I go to East London. I take a bus to East London. No way. You actually took the bus. I took the bus. Yeah, we took yeah. the bus. Not just me. But like, we're going to, to London now. Like, <laughs> leaving this country. Yeah. Bro. And we get to East London. And hey, copies, man, upper man. Yo, like, it's kind of the same, bro. Me. I can't hear exactly about Chetang and Doni back then because I lose with Sulu. My ass is cut. Hey, so much going on here. I'm like, nah, man. What's going on here? But my sister was happy with East London. Mm. She was really happy because in East London, when we got there, remember we have money. Mm. And then there was this lady that opened a saloon, had a saloon there. And then my sister would go there to a saloon. And then she found her trade in, in, in that saloon stuff and whatnot. Mm. And she was really, really comfortable. Mm. Like really comfortable. I remember we bought our first TV, black and white. Was, um, remember those black and white TVs? <laughs> Yeah, Those, with the, mm, with yeah, the yeah, we bought antennas off. on the TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's our first TV we bought. It's like ah, things are changing, most. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, bro, hey, we, we are here, man. Yeah, 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 we are here now. now. <laughs> I accepted then. I think I'm still in the same place, but <laughs> I, I didn't tell my sister we're still in South Africa <laughs> because to me and her. We are no longer in South so Africa. So when you got there, you saw black people, and you still thought, I know, we're not in South Africa. A lot of black people. And then I was like, something is wrong here, but. Mm. Back then, like, mm. so something same. was different. A little me. bit, yeah, because there's a lot of cliques here. Hey, 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 buff. Yeah. And yeah, but I got used to that vibe. And then now I'm in the Eastern Cape. Now I had to like, uh, now understand what, what was happening there. And I actually liked it. So, and that's where in Eastern Cape now adopted another family. The same family that was helping my sister with the saloon. Mm. They became now my family. Mm. Um... And I, uh, and I learned a lot about his course. Uh, like, mm. I know nothing else about his course. Mm. Like, I did the whole mountain thing and the whole... That, that old man was you willing to... You get circumcised to, on yeah, the mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That man was willing to do that for me. And ID, everything. He was, he was that man that did that and for like, me. And who called you CISO? Because... Uh, I called did. myself CISO because... Uh, it, from the, the house I left, Bengun Ngapo. Mm. So to them, Ngapo meant a nobody. Like, they called you nobody? Ngapo, yeah. Like, my aunt, I remember my aunt having sex then. Mm. In Gi Corner, and the man would ask, I think she was doing prostitution now that I'm old, I understand. Yeah, mm. when, you, when you look at it. Yeah, man, when I look yeah. at it. Like, no, because remember, I found my man back home. And the best of all, but I imagine I'm not like, I'm not like, yeah, so that's what they used to call me. So now, damn, bro. Yeah, so now, I went to meet this old man. Uh, he asked me, Yin is Fiso Sak. Yeah, well. <laughs> Yin is Fiso Sak. I mean, I'm a cool. I'm a man TV. I'm a man cool. I'm a man in the mall. And all those things I used to say in the streets. Mm. Yeah, well. And back then, I wanted to be a musician myself. Mm. Like, I knew there was something that I had to do in the music. I, want, I wanted, I cared about music. Even man, shy strap. Or yeah, shy strap. No, I like a car, a, a taxi conductor. Like, oh, the guy which, the, the marshal. Yeah, yeah, marshal. yeah. Just call, hey, point, point, oh. point, point. Do the they give you two rands or what? No, 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 no. I was making money. Because I, would, I, was, I was working with this old man that one of his wives, I, I, I skipped that story, one of his wives owned a, a quiche, a rank. Hmm. On the wet kitch, like those ones who yeah, cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the wives owned on the kitchen there. So now 
he became like sort of my father. And then Bezong Tatang Porek, that's how I actually how to learn driving. And I would wash cars. I mean, I would wash taxis also uh, a rank. Mm. So that's how I learned how to drive. And, 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 and yeah. Your childhood was non-existent. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. I didn't go to school. Mm. And speaking English and all those kind of stuff. I'm still learning English to date. So did you find out what your real name I'm is? I'm still learning. No, 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 no. You don't know? No, I don't know. So, so do you have like documents, ID and stuff? No, the man in Eastern Cape helped me. Oh, with all the mm. type yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. took the, the, the guy in Eastern Cape surname too? Pardon? You took his surname too? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. took his surname too. Yo. I took his surname too. He, he was that bro. He was like, ah, it's fine. It's like, I'm mm. And he did kind of like everything for me. So, so like, But then he died again. Yo. I died again and my sister's comfortable and my sister don't understand. She's not speech. I'm trying. I don't, I'm not moving to another country. This is fine for me. <laughs> this country is the one. Country is the I'm not one. moving to another country. This is yeah. fine for me. Uh, please just make sure you come and visit me. Mm. That's what she said. Yeah. And the other time, we're going to But now I, I sort of like have a home to go and be like every December time type of thing. Mm. If... If that was a thing. So I was like, I know, let me leave, let me go. And then I remembered that, hey, sh- yes. that time. <laughs> when you left. That time when I was, we left KZN, when we left Deben and we were going overseas, there was two names there. There was Cape Town and there was East London. And, and I thought to East London, it's overseas. Let me go to the other overseas. <laughs> and then I went to Cape Town. So you ended up in Cape Town. I ended up in Cape Town and every shit started for me in Cape Town. And I'm sure that one also... That Cape, one, Town, Cape, Cape Town convinced you that it Cape, was... Yeah, Cape, Town, Cape, Town, Cape Town was... I, I got confused. I stayed in Cape Town for at least a good three, four months convinced that I'm overseas. <laughs> because when I landed there, I landed at Pastor Sheen and... Uh, and then I just saw a lot of people, man. Besuka mm. Erenki. There's a bridge. No, when you come to... Uh, when you come from Elokshin, mm. there's a bridge. Everybody goes past that bridge, Maoshe takes in to access town. Mm. And I would see everybody come from there, like all of them. Like, I was just myself, why everybody comes from there? In the morning and whatnot. Mm. And then I walked to the bridge and I walked to the rank. I'm like, I'll take the rank again. Oh. South Africa. <laughs> right? No, no, I'm not this like South Africa because there's colored. And what what was it's colored? It's the colored dom- dominated. It yeah, was more yeah. dominated by colors back then more than than than, than, than black. So it was more colors. Hey, you master puss and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hey, this is at least something. Yeah, yeah this is different. Different. Yeah, this is at least something. Hey, you're nice, hey. And oh, this was your first time seeing a colored person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. There's not a lot of. I, I didn't have. Not to say uh, there's no color. There is color in Deben. I didn't have access to colored people in in Deben and East London. But now I'm exposed to them. Especially the whole the large community. scale now. Yeah. Pardon? Now, this is not just one college you're seeing one day. This is the whole taxi rank. Oh, this is like, this is like the whole taxi day. rank. They were dominating. Like, the remember, the, the head taxi is then, but most taxi is busy. Like, Klaus and Yanga, mm. we were probably, Klaus and Yanga, back then, who's a, who's a drop a band to a town, there was probably a different taxi rank for you to drop them. And they were fighting that battle of, we must all drop people off here in this taxi rank. Mm. Because it didn't make sense. You could take a taxi from the taxi rank later on to a car, but you couldn't be dropped. So they were fighting that battle. Mm. And and now now uh, it's uh, now it's uh, now 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 it's fine. Now it's fine. Yeah, now so it's when fine. you go to Cape Town, what were you doing? Like what was what was your story? So like? again, my life in a taxi rank. Because now remember I know how to do graphics in cars. I know how to I know how to put windshields in a car. I know how to put windscreen. I know how to make the windows dark. Mm. And then I, I went there like, hey, to that guy, hey, me, I can make these windows black. Like, look at me, hey, sexy, like, you're nice. <laughs> like, no, no, I can make these windows dark. And then one of them had a taxi, as a, te- as a taxi owner had a black guy who was now a black conductor, like, what's mm. up? Yeah. And I was like, what's he doing? And then I told him, I'm like, hey, what's going on in the room? I'm like, no, 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 like no, no, So I told him, okay, I need this, 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 and that's like, okay, let's go. There was Midas across, so we went to Midas. Mm. So we get to Midas, we buy, um, we buy uh, the film. 
Mm. And they bought a spray gun and whatever. And I go to the taxi rank and like, I need a star school driver. I need to remember. Remember Siaya? Mm. Siaya had those, has, had those pins there that you yeah, need to, the when you the mouse of the wind. So I removed them. I cleaned the wind. I started titting those windows. I started like, hey, say, they can feel the tent. They, you must have pulled. You're still swearing. Yeah, yeah. Who feel so good? And who feel so good? I don't understand then. And that's what I'm about. I'm about to open up my lean. And I tell, ah, they must just give me money for food. Yeah, bro. Mm. And then they would pay me, I would collect money, I would collect, yeah, hey, I got robbed in that taxi rank, bro. Yeah. Like by thugs or No, 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 no. Or like they were just I like, like, oh, like they were making you work, but they were not paying you enough. No, I was making like when you think now, let's say, because I still I have a company that still do that. Uh my wife is running it. Uh now if you do a CI, a smash and grab or a quantum, it's like you need to have a minimum of 2.5 if you're going to smash and grab. Mm. And I mean, I was probably getting like 20 rand, few, 100 bucks and, you know. I, yo, I got robbed. Yo, I need to go back for my royalties there. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, yo, I yeah, got your masterpiece. Yeah, but, but it was... Being in the streets though, didn't, that, didn't you have to do some like sort of um, illegal, dodgy stuff? Just like coming up as a kid. Do you have any of those stories like you robbing people or something? I don't know. No, I was blessed, bro. I was blessed. I was so blessed, man. Uh... I, I did steal in a rank. You never got arrested? No, no, no I got arrested. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. What? How did that happen? So you, you did steal at the rank, but they only arrested you because they thought you were someone else. Yes, but I got arrested because <laughs> mm. Like, how long did you, did you stay overnight and then they found out it's not you? No, no, I stayed overnight, yeah. And then now in the morning, when now they took me to court, asking, why are you in the song team? And then now the lady now that was actually, I don't remember what the crime was, but I think it was a cell phone. Mm. Uh, if you know the pass, mm. like, I don't know. I'm not really sure. And I'm not trying to avoid it or whatever. I can have a conversation about it anytime. It's just, I don't remember what it was, mm. but it's a shower and crab. Snatch and crab. Mm. Yeah, snatch and crab. Yeah, it's a snatch and crab. Yeah, so, they just came with cops and say, Ulo. and I got arrested. And the cops didn't ask questions. They took me to the police station. But in the morning now, you have to meet the judge. Like, hey, I don't know what you guys are talking about. And then the lady, the lady now, it's like, no, man, it's not him, man. It's not him. And they released me. And that like was the that. only time you've ever. Yeah, yeah, that was the only time. The police was, yeah, stuff. the only time I got arrested. You said mm-hmm. you now, to deal with the police, uh, remember, I'm, I'm in the streets. The, the, the police in the street knew all of us. Mm. The police in the streets knew all of us. Like they knew. Los ban ban, los ban ban, los ban ban. So that if something happens, they just say, describe this person. Mm. The cops then used to work. Not now. Mm. Cops then used to work. Now, I know. They used to work. Yeah. And they knew. Country. Yeah, they knew. Kuti. Ma mo describe a moon to so. They would say, ah, this one must be usban ban. So they would come and say, uva uva usban ban. And then they say, ah, ula pan. They go, who yellow? And then they go like, no, so yeah. So cops then used to work. Mm. So mm. I, I did, I did have a lot of interaction with police and and and, and stuff. I never took drugs. No, I never took the nyaupe thing. And was even nyaupe thing. Then? Yeah, how long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing, yeah, that thing is that thing is older than you, bro. The lollipop yo, yo, thing, yo, the banning. No, 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 no. Isn't that's, that like that's and glue? Man. No, Crystal nyaupe, man. nyaupe, yeah. nyaupe, nyaupe, nyaupe. Yeah, nyaupe, yeah, nyaupe. nyaupe was there. I don't know the difference. I don't difference, know the difference, bro. But Pela, yeah. in your opinion, I think they lace it with weed. Nah, then that's not your opinion. There's yeah. lollipop, le. But yeah, tell us something, la pan, and then you shy look yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. You yeah. See kids around you. Yeah, 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 a lot, a lot, a lot. But I, 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 I wanna urge everybody not to judge those kids. Mm. Um, the reason why they choose that way in the streets is like uh, that thing is everywhere. Mm. They would rather share that thing than food. It's easy to access the glue to smoke then food. because yeah, the glue to smoke and the lollipop because you can't smoke alone. I cook rain, so you wanna share. So mm. it's easier to find that. And also, when you smoke that thing, alambi, like you huh. don't. So do you start? Because I know people start for different reasons, right? So that one, do you start for like which one alambi? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. start because it's so it's around you so it's, much. It's around it's, it's it's around you, and and then you realize what it does to our lamb. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. so those kids, even now, if you go to you find a street kid, they are a real street kid, and umnigas they don't 
hashtag. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. They I've want the it. money. They want the money. They, they want, always want the money. Even if it's just two rand. Yeah. Because if you give two rands, the next give two rands, two rands, two rands, it amounts to whatever it is. They can now go buy. Then, you know, so when you bring them bread, they're like, oh, okay. Nah, you get, they're not excited about yeah. it. But I want to know, what are the chances of like street kids that have your story? Because we all always going to think, like, assume with your eye, man. You know, they left home willingly because they didn't want to listen to, like, they didn't want to stop going out. They didn't want to, you know. Like, mm. you know, how many of them have your story where it's completely out of your control? Type five? That I came with from the streets, I have, well, my sister. Yeah. Uh, she now imports stuff from Dubai and, and whatnot. To show you my sister, not going to believe. Very beautiful. Uh, there's two. There's one that followed me in Cape Town. And we changed our life together there. And there's one I see always in Jobek. And I say GP. Mm. Yeah, I always see him there. He's he's doing great. I chat. We 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 chat. I think for me it was different for me because who changed my life really and made me want me to want nice things. So, my baby, there was a girl called Mapule. Mm. Hey, always. Yeah. You know that name. <laughs> Is it? Uh, hey, that's one a name, that one. Is it? Drive you crazy. So there's a girl called Mapule. She was a Zozimbini look like. There you scale back then and whatnot. Like beautiful kid. So I liked women. Like I like beautiful things. And for me, I had that thing that drove me, one day I'm gonna have a beautiful wife. And this is this is like you in the streets. Yeah, in the streets. I'm like, ah, le, ang ifun, ang ifun. And when it's my figure, I'm a pula, I'm a rinkin, I'm a zonge, I'm a preaching, I'm a mungsang abeze. And then she would give me scafteen, and she would hate this scafteen. And then because they would give her money and scafteen, lunchbox, right? So she would leave the lunchbox with me, and she would go. And then when she come back, she would come back. The lunchbox yeah. is clean, and then I'll give it to her. So that was my so girlfriend. You got a routine. <laughs> yeah, that was my yeah. girlfriend, according to me. Yeah. So for me, I was like, hey, one day, one day, one day, this one's going to be my wife. This one's going to be my wife. So I always wanted nice things. So you'd say that And was like there's the no way love. I was going to be close to my pool if I looked that scary. Mm. And you how see? did she like allow you to approach her? Like, did you, was there something No, they get used to you, man. Oh. You get used, like, let's say you live here and there's always a guy here. You end up knowing them by names. Yeah. Like, yeah. in front of one of my stores, uh, there's, there's Nyaope guys that sleep there, like, they sleep there and I know them by name and we are fickle children now but we're all hey because I'm doing it and we talk a lot so I know them if something were to happen I remember one of them was sick like hey call the ambulance call the ambulance then I went out I looked ah, ambulance ah, what did he do I look at him I'm like nah he's gonna be fine he's just too drunk and he was Two or three hours late, he must have woke. He was really fine. But if he wasn't okay, I would have called the ambulance. If needed to, like he died, I was gonna probably do a follow up and try to bury him or something. Mm. So you're telling did, me that like, Mapule uh, girl was like your yeah, first Mapule, love or yeah, Mapule was someone that drove me to want to be a better person. to want to join society or the community or whatever. You and then, call. how do you still feel about like women now? Do you do roadkill? What do you mean roadkill? Do you do roadkill? Yeah, I did a lot of roadkill. Well, right now you don't anymore. I did a lot of roadkill, man. No, nah, man. No, I don't, man. I did a lot of roadkill, though. Because obviously, like, you haven't said it on camera, but, you know, weren't you, like, into the, the, the adult film industry? Yeah, I am. Can you talk about that? I paused a bit. Or oh, you hmm. paused? So, like, how did you get into that? Because I know you did kind of also mention, like, maybe there's certain things that led you into that direction, like, as you as a child. Oh, yeah. There's this pastor that uh, tried to give me a home as well. Uh, Pastor Angelo, he was married with the lady from Soway to Shawela. Mm. I still have the address, 1509. Mm. Uh, so, but pastors travel a lot. He was a pastor of United Methodist Church. Mm. Uh, so, he would leave me there. And there was a helper there called Mary, Maria, Mary. Uh, so, she would act like she's cleaning the house and then come to my room and then close the door, lock the door and then molest me. Now I know it's molesting, but back then I just feel the pains because when you're young, remember, dick, it's a muscle. Mm. Sure, sure. A dick, it's a muscle. Mm. So if you keep stretching it, it can also grow, right. especially if you do it at a young age. So if, if you're describing what she was doing, is it like, you're saying hand job? Just no, she would come on top as well. She would, I mean, she should first give, she'd and put how it old in. Are you? Uh, I'm very young. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not 17. 
so so that moment I'm not it's sort of moment. like but wait weren't you exposed to this because I know kids the kids that are in the street yeah at a young age are more ex- you know exposed to like uh, an adult life at a quicker age do you get what I'm saying so being in the streets up until this age where this happened weren't you exposed to no 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 I wasn't remember most street kids like real street kids that run away from home they run away from home for such Yeah. Like oh, they've been yeah, raped yeah, and yeah. what not. So when you're in the streets you're for you're on survival mode. You you don't There's no time for those things. Sucks. You're not even clean enough to get a nice girl. Mm. You so, smell, bro. Like I had in the streets I had this thing they used to call it um wasa kwasa. Mm. Like those things when like a rash or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm a I, yeah, like I would always you itching, yeah. So, 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 so you can't approach a girl, bro. Like imagine Yeah, but do. how did you end up doing porn though? I want to know. How did I end up doing <laughs> porn? Oh fuck. Kind of crazy. We're just finishing up on like the what happened between you and that uh how But why don't you want him to talk about that? No, but I'm saying that probably <laughs> led to him making those kind of oh. things because you didn't explain what happened next. She was molesting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was molesting me, and I, I sort of that feeling grows with you as well. And and uh, yeah, I remember same man, but imagine, but you're good by by pool, by pool, sure. by pool. So yeah, cool. And let me see, pay a corner, yeah, boom. Yeah, well, so the veins start coming out, and for some reason, yeah, it's, it's always ready. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for some reason it's always <laughs> yeah, yeah, so so for some reason it's always ready. So when I now I'm now clean now and all that, and then now I know how to hit on beautiful girls. Now I'm dating and whatnot, and I would realize, man, when I'm talking to other gents, I'm chido tying him shy, loose ban ban. Ah, five minutes, young. I'm like five minutes. <laughs> You're like nah, what? <laughs> Five. <laughs> you were done five. <laughs> Serious. And then I would have conversation where the bruise will be like, ah, yeah, yeah. and then my bruise would talk to girls out there. They'd be like, you, I'm gonna walk. Like, yo, I can come and whatever not. And then I'd be like, ah, man, something is off here. Yeah. And uh, how are these bruise and what's the difference? What's mm. the difference? Mm. Yeah, well, then I realized that now, nah, man, this bruise, uh, they're are, not there. They, they, yeah. <laughs> so you go crazy, dog. Like, yo, like, yo. Like yeah, just, no, I had, I, I was stronger than, I was obviously stronger than most of them, the ones I knew then. No, I'm just saying in general, like you make sure in the bedroom. like Now, yeah, now, like, yeah, now, now, now then, yeah, when I understood yeah. the game and understood yeah. I could make man out of it, yeah, oh, hell yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so you did make man out of it? No, you practice here and then you, 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 you practice, bro. You, you play, please, listen, you see in South Africa, they're not shooting porn, bro. They, yeah. It's two people have, having sex in a bedroom. If you shoot porn in 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 Paris, in the US, like where I I like shooting, I'll never shoot porn with any South African woman. Not even like the biggest one here. Who is the biggest one? Colin Colin Yeah. Hmm? Colin Fager. She's great. But you wouldn't shoot something. Nah, she's great. She's real great. She's real great. I watch some of her stuff. She's really really great. Yeah. She's really really great. But for me. See, remember, I would call you. Do you have a relationship with her? Yeah, 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 I know her personally, like very well. Even you never. I know her very well. Yeah, but you you've you, never. You say you've never worked with her. Huh? You say you've never worked with her. No nah, shoot. No, nah, no. Yeah. No. yeah. But have you had a, a sexual relationship? <laughs> no. <laughs> no yeah, man. It's fine, man. No man. Bro, Cole, Cole is yo, Cole is a nice chick. So man. you're denying that, right? Do you know? No, no, here's the thing with Cole, man. Cole has this thing of sisters on you. Oh, she, is, is that is that a thing that exists? She friends on you. Sisters on like Nah, but uh, me, I don't believe should friends on you. Like you would stay in the friend zone. You Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on a friend zone. And to an extent where at some point I did co-management for her with 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 Tumfundo. I did co-management. So I have this thing I I I I I I do. I don't tell people I work with. Yeah. Like if you're my artist. You don't shit where you eat. Done. Mm. Doesn't matter. You come here, Usman Ban Mush. Mm. Not the one. Is it? Mm. So I'll be that bro. So basically what got you into this is hearing other people, like your reviews. <laughs> 
in short. Yeah, I have conversations. Yeah. And then remember now, I'm, I'm, I joined the community now. I have friends. I have a friend. I have a friend. I had good friends. Yeah, we were crazy, bro. So we would roadkill to answer yeah. <laughs> your question. Mm. We would roadkill. There was a place called Gua AC in Cape Town. Um, back then was the biggest thing before rents, but if rents came also, but there was a bigger place called Pelas. All the girls used to be there. Go F, was it? Go F. Yeah, something like that. So the Cape Town culture is we party in Epakin, Kwa Ace, and then Magvala, because you can't club that night, we would go to Kwa Ace Engine. And then we had those dudes that now we go to gym. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Go yeah, to the gym. Bath and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. We bathed and all those things. Yeah, we were road kill. It was all about the number, bro. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. It wasn't yeah. even about the looks. No, yeah. no, no. You no, go no. for some ugly girls, be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was about the no, quantity. Back the then, quality. for me, I love, I love thick women. Oh, so you're going for the thick I love ones. thick women, like totally. So back then, I would ignore the face and I would go for the road kill. How itself, many bodies man. would you say you got? Sure. <laughs> Also, including professionally. Yeah, including professionally. How many? What do you mean professionally? Like you. Like let's, let's start. Let's start. Let's start here, and then. Yeah, you also let's start, Oh, you mean professional? No, no, no. Let's start films, here. Yeah. Let's start here. Uh, me as my own thing and do my own road kill. Mm. Ah, bro. Ah. But I wanna be honest, man. <laughs> it can't be less than. Yeah. Hey, bro, it can't be less than 30, bro. 30? Nah, it can't be less than 30. Nah, bro. I feel like Bro, that's come can. on. I was expecting you to it say... It can't be less than 30. But that's open-ended. Nah, like, bro. It less can, than 30 can go up in, to 300, in, Your whole uh, but, life. No, but I'm saying... No, okay, no. not less than 30, not more than... Hello, we need to cap it. 1,000. Nah, bro. <laughs> Remember, the best times to roadkill is weekends. Sure. And you've had a lot of weekends. And I had a lot of weekends. And hey, bro, I was a sex edit, man. I don't know, man. Maybe Put a number on it. Maybe though. dating man. Like I was a sex edit, bro, because I remember. Uh, now, now I don't do that anymore. I would smash a girl in the morning. No, there would be a girl, a little woman, right? And then, and bro, I was luck with beautiful women, bro. So there would be a girl, a little woman, Sleep over, yeah. and then him cap, man, him cap pile, and then I'm already <laughs> making new plans, ordering the next, chest, yeah. and then I would have the next, mm. and probably leave around two. I remember I didn't have like I was I wasn't focused at all, bro. Yeah. Like, I wasn't yeah. really focused the at focus all. Focus was girls. Yeah, I, would, I had the company that was doing well, so I had money coming in, and mm. uh, like I had no direction, bro. Like seriously, mm. I really had no direction. Mm. But I had income. I made money through my company. And there's just someone managing it and make sure that it brings solid money for me. And I was just... Mm. What was the first avenue for you that started making a lot of money? The glass company. Okay. The glass company. But you didn't explain to us, like, how did you get into the adult film world? Like, what... Who approached you? Who did you go to? Oh, I went to a strip club. Yeah. It's a meet. And then there was an American dude there. He was with his wife. Mm. So this brew... Uh, I remember I'm buff, like, like I have a nice body. Mm. I have my days. Mm. I, have, I have my seasons. Mm. But my body is like, oh, this bro. Mm. So I'm in a strip club. I, I like strip clubs, bro. To date, I still, I still go to strip club now. So I'm in a strip club and then this lady, she's Latino. She's from, she's from Mexico. Mm. And her boyfriend... I went yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her boyfriend was, is from the US. So they were already into porn. So they would go to a strip club and then the boyfriend would like a girl in a strip club. The girl would say, oh, okay, nice, fine, go and smash. And she would wait in a sitting area, like in a bar or whatever. And then I'm out there minding my own business, bro. Like just minding my own business, mm. literally. And the girl was busy staring at me. And at that time I'm thinking, yeah, thank you, Salam, none. But also because I know the girls in the strip club, I'm like, but this must be new. Yeah, it's the but new she, one. Yeah, mm. but she was thick. Latino, like, very thick. Remember, look at Colin Faga. Mm. And that girl is just like Colin Faga, but mm. Latino, like, mm. she can't even speak proper English. She's been staring at me, staring at me. I, I'm like, I'm not going to approach this girl or anything. I continue to do my thing. Because I saw her with the brew already. So the brew comes back. Then I just see them having a conversation. Then the brew come, approaches me. 
like, hey, bro, you good? I'm like, hey, you good, man. Hey, man, I'm from the US, bro. I'm like, oh, shut up. What's up? Okay, oh, my woman likes you. I want you to fuck my woman. I just want to watch. That's how I got into porn. There you are, okay. like, okay. <laughs> So people really do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what's the what's the word on that? Is it uh, cuckold? Cuckold. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, what it's called. Yes, what? Here's my thing. Who's getting the pleasure there, Doc? Hmm? Who's getting the pleasure? Of what? He, so he gets pleasure from watching you. Fucking Does he girl. like beat his meat while he's watching you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can be, 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 listen. Remember this 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 brew also shoots porn. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So experience, thick women, skinny. All of them. At some point, and remember, you married to this person. At some point, you don't have that mm. that thing anymore. So you need when you are sex edit, ne? Mm. You do things until you can't do anything. Mm. So you come numb to it. So yes. You've tried it all. So you God. keep discovering. Yeah. Things that can turn you on. What's the freakiest thing though? Like, what would you say is just the the craziest, freakiest thing that you can do? That I can do. Yeah. Or that you've done. Fuck three girls. At once. One man job. <laughs> one man show. Yeah, one man three show. Three girls, one time. Yeah. one man show. Were they sexually satisfied though? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not a selfish dude in bed, bro. Uh, would, would you because, say that- Because what happens is if you, if you, if you, you shoot porn or you, you want to fuck a lot of women, you must be a guy that thinks for women as well. Mm. Like you must, you must know that a woman needs to come as well at some point. Hmm. Right, you can't be that bruise. Yeah, just safe, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't be that bruise. Just, just man. Yeah, I'll just touch your face. You, oh, no, you, I'm, in, in Tana, you I'm just notes. trying to understand. No, no, no. no I'm just I've heard understand. that. Wait, I've heard that a lot of guys in the adult film industry they are very open-minded sexually. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do that. After shooting the piano rap, I learned how not to. Hey, everybody's mad at you for that. Uh, but why? I don't know. You tell us. No, what do you mean? I was, I'm not mad because. You, because you're coming after Musa Keys, bro. Musa? Mm-hmm. Why am I coming? Why? He said he's not talented. <laughs> every, every time his name was brought up, ne? Aye, he, he can't had see. something to say that was against like the movement. Okay, let me be completely honest. I want to be like completely honest. Yeah, sure. Uh, the first time I saw Musa Keys perform yeah. was in Bloemfontein. I was on a day road managing Murumba Peach. I was with Murumba Peach standing in for a gig. I don't have to put the name, it's fine. So one of my artists was booked and he couldn't make it. And I, I felt the relationship with that promoter. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I can't leave you stranded because it's like hours. Like, like I can't cancel you today. And it was a big event. I needed to make a plan for him to have a good artist. So mm-hmm. I took Murumba Peach there. So I'm my pitch, like my bruise, shout out to them. Very nice kids. Mm. Uh, so we go there. So they perform. Remember, Murumba Pitch sings. Mm. The same way you hear May One sing. Hey, Murumba, hey. The same way you hear him, bro. On the whatever. No, yeah, no, no. It's bro, call that guy live, he's gonna do the same thing. Mm. Right? And we're in, we are in one show now. And then they perform, they finish. Musaki arrives. First time I see him. He arrives, hey, with the whole energy, hey, cool, impatient, cool, I nice. Yeah, like, hey, yeah, with cool. the, yeah, nice. Yeah, like nice. <laughs> some, <laughs> yeah, some MC Hammer shit. I'm like, yeah. hey, nice. Yeah, you got the swag. <laughs> and and remember, uh, DJ, 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 uh, DJ, uh, DJ, uh, 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 it's big. Yeah, the time, like it was, it was on his peak, mm. way before overseas gigs. Yeah, or maybe he had just gone overseas once or twice. Yeah, yeah. And I was a big fan of the song. Mm. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Of the song alone, I was a big fan. And I was excited to want to see him perform live. Bru gets there, CDJs, he kills it. Like, because he plays, he DJs before he, he goes perform. Like he takes the microphone and... So he DJs and then he grabs the microphone. Hey, man. Like the first thing he did is to greet us with auto tune. Yo, when? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Greeting with auto tune. Yeah. Uh, Can you feel it? I'm out of tune. Yeah. <laughs> Why nigga lale makai on auto tune? Hi, boy. Pellet's the performance now. Started. You ask me, I want to give you. It turned you off. Ne- right? Not it, gonna give like, me. like he was my hero then before I saw that. 
Because I'm expecting him to get there. But also you, you are putting him too much. Because I know you're rolling with our pitch. And then they sound the same as on the mic. And then when he pulls up, you're like, hey, let's hear. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was doing. Let me see. Let me see. Mm. And, and bro, I... But yeah. you know that it's not him on the vocals for most of his song, though. Most of his songs, it's not him the on the vocals. The, big, the popular part of Selema is... Uh, is it the Tanzanian guy? Mm, yeah. Yes. The Even Vulam Lomer was a thrill and Noba and two and all these other songs. I know the, the Vulam Lomer that ended up acting like he's his own, no, but no, it's not. Yeah. No, yo, I heard something about that. I heard that actually Vulam Lomer was meant. No, it's not his song. It's a thrill song. Was it supposed? It's not his so song. So how did he get a hold of the song then? No, it was because he told us he made it at Major League Studios. Yeah, but so so who, if he did it at Major League Studios, who owns the masters? Major League. So Major League gave it to him. They didn't give him the master. He doesn't have the masters. He's got the song, the he final just song. He ran with it. He ran with it. Yeah. He took the wave file, basically. Yeah. No, let me. The MP3, like a wave, like you can send to yeah, electro yeah. mode and drop it like that. He doesn't have the, the masters. Not even Drill has the masters. But the song was supposed to be dropped with uh, Major League Drill and and them or Drill and Musa. So you say Musa he stole the song. Nah, no, I'm not saying that. What are you saying? He then? took it. He took it. Yeah. Took it and ran with it. Still is something else. So, 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 at that, at this point, the relationship between them they're gone, non-existent, gone. Because that song was big, gone. There's no relationship. He meant true. Don't get along. I, I don't know today because you know here's the thing with this artist, bro. If I say I don't get along, lady dude, don't get along with uh, uh with Bushe, and then they're gonna do PR. Bushe will call, uh, will video take call. Pictures. We video call uh, Lady Dude and, and, like, and, like cool, yeah. and then then I look like a then fool. Post it, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Don't, 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 don't compare them. Uh, don't compare them. Uh, don't compare them. As long as you're not going to compare them yourself. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, I can't say what's happening because, bro, this, this, this artists are very emotional, bro. Like, these artists are like, yo, if you manage an artist, you know. If you're an artist manager, you know. You are a father. You babysit. You are a slave. You beg artists to get ready on time. You beg artists to... Fana, tell them, Fana, cinema kick off for a little bit on point. Please don't drink a lot. To, like, and they still do it. They still do it. You're also managing Soul Penduke, ne? Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to. <laughs> Why did that take yeah, so long? Know, he had to think about that one. He's like, actually. I used to. No, no, oh, no. Stop, no. No, no, no. Sol and I are good. Like, Sol and I are really, really good because now, now I opened my own record label and he called me. He's like, hey, bro, I see your focus shifted. You're doing something else. And you, together we did well to where we are. Can I have other management team pushing me full on? Mm. But whatever work you still have for me, Mm. You can still bring. So I still take Souls booking. Yes. Mm. But I don't like, uh, bro, you have Metro FM, what, what? You have, no, 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 no. I, mm. I, I, someone else is doing that. I don't go a lot with him on the road anymore. Mm. But Soul is not, was, the thing is with Soul, Soul was not just my artist. He was my brother. So what does that mean? Like, where did you find him? Where did you guys meet? I met Sol in a strip club. You're thinking of a crazy strip club. I knew it. Somehow I knew it. No, I met Sol in a strip club. What brings it doesn't you and go Sol anymore. Man, what brings you and Sol bombs. together? It doesn't go to it's a strip a club anymore. Bombs. It doesn't. It doesn't do strip club anymore. Yeah, he calls the moment to his place now. Into him. Now he laughs at me when I say, hey, I'm on my way to the strip club. Like, <laughs> no, uh, now Sol Penduga calls the high escorts over to his place now. Oh, He's is doing it? it on a high class level now. Is it? Yeah. How do you know that? <laughs> so that's my brood. What the picture is? That? How do you know guys know that? I don't know about the best part. I know. Man. I've just seen uh, him. So is my guy. He's your brood. How do you? Who told you? Dog. No, no, no. Now no, you no. make him expose things. Because <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to expose. Yeah, I just you could look at yourself. No, the, no, no. The thing is, I don't want to say no, 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 no. No, yeah. he's. I've seen him like posting. Nah, no. Saul will never post that. He did. Mm -mm. Ask him. Saul post girls. Nah. He would post his But woman. he deleted it very quick, though. Is it? He deleted it in under two minutes. <laughs> so I you're waiting to you. I have hey, bro. Hey, Son, I'm very sorry. Bro. I don't know, bro. But everybody knows that Sol is a horny nigga who posts the girls all night. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying Sol it's, it's doesn't like women or what. It's not what I'm yeah. saying. Like, I, I, to, where I'm, to where, where I am, if I go to a place and I see Sol with a woman, I don't need to ask him. Is it your girlfriend or what? I will know because I know his type. Mm. You see what I'm saying? I see uh, him in Rosebank all the time with the thickest woman, bro. Ah, bro, that he is changes his... them every day. Nah, man. Soul, soul, nah, man. Soul's got a decent woman. I see him in Rosebank with different women. 
Nah, man. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, no, but me, I bumped into him with some thick, 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 thick. I was like, yo. Ah, soul. Nah, bro. Can't. Not soul. The thickest. And nah. then what's your relationship with Mac? What do you mean? Mac G. Relationship with who? I mean, yo, yo, yo. I need to you are managing soul. And yeah. then Mac G, what's the relationship there? Between me and Mac? Yeah. I got closer to Mac because of Saul. Yeah. I got closer to Mac because of Saul, but Mac, it's an it's 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 dude, dude very open. Like, uh, brah, Mac, Mac is a fucking nice guy, bro. Uh, Mac, uh, Mac opened the doors for everyone who wants to work. In what way? If you want to work, call Mac. Mm. If you have a dope idea, call Mac. He's not gonna get there and be like, ah, no, this is not gonna be like, oh, no, shop. What do you want me to help you with? And it's gonna help you. Mac is that guy. So Mick and I are close like that and we help each other a lot. And if he needs something that he, he knows Fiso will do it, he can do it. He, I remember you gave him that, he yo, will, that heat. Yo. He will call me and be like, yo, Fiso. Yeah, and Kantin is like your team, right? The, the, the artists that, you are, that, that, that are signed to you. Yeah. They had most of the guys that worked on the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gave, but Mick never shies away from it. Mick will tell you, I just yeah, put, my I put my on name on it. Yeah, yeah, so... Wait. Before we go f- far, I'm sorry, I went there. Ne? Did you see the the post of, I think it's Nivo, Life of Nivo, mm. on Instagram? Life of who? Nivo. Life of Nivo is Musa Key's Key manager. Fake. Yeah. Eh? Did you see? Who is what's, it? What's the post? Musa Key's manager. Oh, no, nah, bro. Musa Key's same... manager is AKA's manager. Yeah, no, the same no, guy. Yeah. guy. Not that no, it's two guys. Zyme, 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 then, Not Yamo. The guy from Congo or whatever. Zymo or something. The guy with dreadlocks. No, oh. no. He doesn't have... Ah, who is that guy now who fights me every day acts like Musa Key's manager? Zymo. Zymo. Zim. Whatever. I don't even know Nivo. No, and... this nigga said, fuck you. Tell, tell this nigga I said, fuck him. What, what, what? Uh, and he posted like the, the thing of saying, you saying Musa Key's as a scam. He posted like a whole long thing. Aye, bro, I don't know this, bro. Bro, let me clear the... Hey, you the, make these people mad. Let me clear the Musa Key's thing, bro. Let me clear the Musa Key's thing. Musa Key is talented, but you guys also said not his vocals, like, or even Selema is not all his vocals. Yeah, the popular part is not... You, you see, the popular part is not his vocal. Yeah. I didn't know that. For me, I thought it's him all alone in the song, and it sounds really, really, really dope. With It doesn't have a lot of outer tune. You see what I'm saying? It's, so when I saw him perform, I was expecting that. But when the brew got there, was out of tuning everything, including his smile. I mean, his laugh. So your problem with him with is him. that he's using auto tune. Yeah, yeah, bro. I don't know his voice. His speaking voice. I didn't know his but speaking a, voice until a, the video a, I saw. He's a singer though. I saw, yeah, but he's he can't sing. Out. He's not a singer. He's a composer. It's the video we he talked okay, about. Okay, listen, to perform, like, he's not coming to give a tip. Like talk. for me, for instance, eh? I'm very talented, bro. Yeah. I'm very talented. Sure. There's a lot of music that made the hits, like uh, changed lives in this country before even I'm a piano king, mm. right? I am very, very talented. You hear what I'm saying? But I can't sing. You hear what I'm saying? Sure. Very, very talented. My talent, bro, it's on another level and I know exactly where it is. It's not singing. You hear what I'm saying? So Musa, most people say he produces. Then when the broadcast came out and then the people that produce came out and be like, I produced this one, I produced that one, I produced that one. Which one is he? did he produce? Which songs did the people say? Ah, there's a lot, bro. So you're saying because he now, claims that he didn't produce I know TNK anything. produces for him. TNK music? TNK. They the ones that do most of the hits. Eh? Which which TNK? The ones that did bells. Yeah. TNK they produ- music. Yeah, they produce for a lot of people. TNK music, like life TNK, TNK, I think, yeah, yeah. Like I think there's two brews there. I don't know. Hmm. I know they're from okay, so, not saying TJ. I know, okay, I know they're I from see, so see it. So, so my point, so my you point. You were deceived. I was disappointed and I felt robbed. Could, I he, like, also, he also uses it on the song. Huh? Niti, he does also use it on the song. They're not as much as when he performs. I think it's the same. Nah, no, 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 no. That Bruce West, yo, wait, performance, yo, 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 yo. It's West, bro. But you, you see, you mentioned that he can DJ, he can... 
Fruit. Yeah, I want to say he's he talented. Dance. He can produce. He's a good right, DJ right. because his transaction is the best. This is how it's called. One song after the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best. It's like, it's the best. Choice and his transition. It's the best. The best. So I, you faulting him for his performance using auto tune? No, no, no. For him not singing. For him not singing. Yeah, he can't sing. So the entire brand is a scam because it, he can't sing live. I, I, no, no, no. He scammed me. <laughs> <laughs> he scammed me. But listen, the reason why I say he scammed me. Because I bought it, I streamed it, mm. right? You, you were tail, a fan, tail. basically. I was a fan. Tail, you mean yeah. the album Tail? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I streamed it. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? And I'm thinking, oh, this bro, yo, 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 it's too much composition. Everything, like you say, like everybody yeah, everything else. else yeah. I agree with everybody else. He is talented, but he can't sing, guys. Come on, that's what I'm saying. This bro can't sing, bro. Musa, if you listen to this, I don't hate you, bro. <laughs> Uh, I respect your craft. You did very well. And I even said even back then, could overseas you did well. I hope you can go back and do well again. Like, I don't hate, I don't hate Musa Kiss. I don't have uh, a, an agenda. Mm -hmm. And it's not to destroy your brand mm -hmm. again. It's my own opinion mm -hmm. as a musician myself. You sitting here, you want to tell me you're a fan of every artist in this country? No. No. Yeah, so I was a fan I was a fan of him. I'm no longer a fan of him. Damn. And then, Maporisa, what's your beef there? With who? Maporisa. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try to answer you without mentioning his name because he said we must not mention his name. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yo, 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 yo. You don't know what's coming next, eh? Yeah. I'm never so, compared. Hey, Pirateran is a big gangster, eh? Is it? I mean, he, I mean, I, I mean, you had the live, you had the live, you had which the live, live, which part where he says you're not sure what's coming next, he might lawyer you or you might, might kill you, send oh, you yeah. so, send some ngabis. Didn't he threaten uh, Doctor Malinga's life? Yeah, he said yeah. something about guns. Yeah, or let's let's get each other guys and start shooting each other once. Hey, bro, listen. Uh, and he told you to apologize. He says you must apologize. Oh, you, you, you won't let it go until I apologize. Make a public apology. Or else I die. Yeah, yeah. something like that, you know. Guys, uh, this man is a very powerful man. Uh, this man changed lives. So many lives. Uh, this man created his own country within the country. Mm -hmm. And he also probably changed more lives than Ramaphosa did. Mm -hmm. By change, you mean in a positive way? In a positive way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, this man single-handedly killed two genres that I grew up listening to. Which is what? Afropop and hip-hop. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I won. With that, I'm trying to say, uh, with that, I'm trying to say, uh, he's not a bad person at all, at, overall. I am saying, as a president of this country, my piano country, you're going to have deputies that are not happy mm. with certain things that you do, mm. especially if if uh, the people that voted for you come to the deputies and say, this bro took this from me, this one is not done, that one is not done, that one is not done. Who's it then? So people basically in his own camp. Give us people, an example though. No, again, I was talking to other managers that they sit me down and like, bro, names are very difficult. You need to always protect other brands. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to be political now. I'm going to be, how do you say? Okay, give us an example without mentioning the name of what he did. Without mentioning the name. Because me, I heard, besides the, the artist, then there's the, also the sampling, and then there's the royalty. And there's, yeah, the, there's a lot. Musicians. There's a lot. But again, uh, it's his business now that... Uh, it's his business now, guys. Because I was told not to talk about it. But I mean, like, weren't you, like, urged by just, like, because of what's going on right now, and artists are crying? Because they'll cry to you, they'll smile with him. They cry, even in the life that he made, bro. Yo, bro, this bro makes a life, and then I see a lot of fire emojis there. From, the from celebrities, artists. from artists, from the same artists. But then they come to my WhatsApp, and be, hey, shout out to you to stand up for us. Amen. It's confusing. 
People are too faced in the industry. Ne? No, 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 no. I don't think they respect. I don't think people that work with him, that are the ones that come to us and tell us uh, he did this to me and that, respect him. I think they fear him. Mm. There's a difference for me, even though I didn't go to school, between respecting hey, and fearing know the, someone. You know the difference. You know the difference. <laughs> do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I think they fear him. You hear what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they go out and f- try to find people that will speak for them and then they still want to be here and be like, you see what I'm saying? So What's there to does... fear though? What type of power does he have? What can he do that can damage your your brand or you know your, your position in the game? Just how powerful is he? Well, Give he me an example of something. Where it's life-threatening. Yeah. It's a life-threatening situation where but if you go against him, it might be life-threatening. Oh, I don't know. You had the life, Mus. Mm. No, besides that. Is that a lawyer you are sending car? Besides that. Is that what you mean? That can threaten yeah. your life? Mm. But now, maybe if you're talking musically, he, he can't gate, like, I, I don't want to say gatekeep, but because it's like doors. now it's a position. But he's got people that, uh, that bow down to him and the money they make from him and the connections they get through him that now if he calls and be like, yeah, because he's the bigger fish there. But not all over, though. Mm. Right? So, I wouldn't label him as a gatekeeper, but he's got people he can call and stop certain things but to happen like for the you. the definition of gatekeeper. Uh, yeah, but I can't label it. Even if it's one gate, but it's still a gate. Uh, bro, I don't know, man. It's bro. He, he said I mustn't talk about him or things that have to do with him. But what I'm saying is, he's got powers to block, to block certain doors. But since I don't that, know about Gates. So, so tell me, since that conversation we had, like on the, or it was broadcasted, nothing has happened to you since then because he did say some stuff on the live. Has anything happened to you on your side? Yeah, I got chased once, but I don't also want to put it on him. So what happened when you got chased? But, but, I, but, but, but I actually didn't see the full live until my lawyer sent it to me. Good day, bro. Do you know that these people, because I told him what had happened to me, and then he sent me that video. It's a 15-minute video that, of their life. Because I had seen only the part that he speaks about... Uh, Kelvin Momo. Kelvin Momo Kelvin and thing. And then I was like, I, that's it's not talking to me. It's none of my business. Like, I didn't do that. To me, I suggested Kevin Momo on the top 10, and deservingly so. Right, mm. I don't remember comparing Kabza and Momo. And then he like contradicts himself. They, and he, he says them. don't compare them, and then he says he was under piano hub, and you know. No, he compares these even their styles. Like he just he literally says indirectly. He said that Kabza is a better artist because he can. Kevin Momo is one lane. Yeah. Yeah, very. Yeah, but you guys style. did it go. Do, you guys went to school. Is that comparing or not? That's that comparing. is comparing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can prove. You see, so he compared <laughs> them, and then Drake said, "Yeah, what?" And then Drake came. Yeah, so I, like to, I feel like if you had a hand. So if 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 there's, there's I don't have a beef with him. Uh, but you are explaining what I happened. Ne- eh? What happened to you? No, I got chased. Two bullets flew there. I ah. got two bullets. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got chased, but I didn't want to send it to him, even though he incriminates himself already with the live saying he will. He will send people to kill me. But if I was, if I really hated him, I was going to use this and run with it. Because, yeah, you tried to kill me, you know? You tried to kill me. There's two people. Here's proof. You tried to do what? I also can comment a lot on that. I need to let the cops and the lawyers do what they need to do. If it end up getting to him, I, I'm, I'm not going to keep my mouth shut. I'm, I'm uh, like, if it end up getting to him, and I'm also going to do exactly what he did to me if he did it. Because it, it, this thing of going around on lives and promising people you're gonna kill them, I'll tell you something, bro. You will spend a lot of money to send people to kill me. I'll spend five hundred grand to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> which is, which people do you call for five hundred grand? Go to my mind. Go my mind. Yeah. You see those bruises that wear those trousers, but. Yeah. Those, yeah. those bruises who walk like that, those bruises can shoot those bruises. Yeah. Those bruises are the ones, those ones. It's 500 grand a bullet. So if I have a budget of 5,000, I no, can kill you. Bullets. Yeah, with that budget of 5,000. 10 in, bullets. Must uh, that's 10 bullets. How many are you in your family? You. Things are going gangster. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just saying because he took it that route. He's not the only one. Which can go that, well, that That's path. what I'm saying. That he, Because I'm sure he's saying he's got a lot of money to get to make that happen. Yeah, he can make it happen. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. 
A bullet is 500. You also know your people. I also know my people. So, if he goes down that road, he needs to change. I, I, I have so much respect for what is done to the game and for the game and for some certain people in the game, not all of them. You need to change that approach. You will send people to kill people because that, that, that might come back very bad because something might happen to me. Someone might come and shoot me and it, that person has nothing to do with, with you. you. Yeah. And now it incriminates now. And that thing is there in the internet. for That thing is in the internet forever. I mean, there was also stories of, of him going getting anyway. shot in the East Rand, right? Don't you think experiencing that also sort of made him paranoid a bit? Because they shot his whole bus, I think it was yeah, two years they, ago, they shot up in the, the East Rand. Was, what yeah, did he do? I don't know. Uh, I think what, he had a, someone's girl or something, right? I, yeah, no one knows exactly what happened, but it wasn't... The, the Allegedly, conversation was girls. girls. Oh, conversation Allegedly. was girls. Yeah. So don't you think that sort of sends paranoia to your head, you know? No, no, no. It has nothing to do... Me, my, my, what we did on that show, bro... I'm a piano rap. It had nothing to do with my police. Or violence. Sorry, sorry to mention your name again. <laughs> it had nothing to do with him. Mm. I feel like all the points that he raises there and and brings them at me, it's not what I said. Ish, and that time he's calling you that nicer Balenciaga. You see, and I don't think that he watched. <laughs> he and also, I don't think that he, to be fair on his side, I don't think he watched the whole interview. I think he saw snippets Eclipse, and yeah. ran with it. My conversation is, okay, Sharp, I see what you're saying. First thing, the comparing thing, we, we talked on that. But then the, the thing of controlling that Amapiano narrative, like, you, you can't say anything if he doesn't want you to talk. It's not like that. It's what? I understand him because I had to go through his tweets, all of them. It's because he brought down, according to him, he brought down uh, Afropop and hip hop. And he celebrated that. Mm. Yeah, I heard you. He. he celebrated that. This thing of him not wanting to talk now, it's, it's new. He celebrated every, every week he would suppose he had a big song with Shasha. Oh, na, na, I'm not ready tonight. Love you tonight. Yeah, when that song was big, he was Tender posting love. all the Tender Love. Who's got the biggest kind? Uh, who's, the, what was it? who's got the biggest song in the country right now? I want to see something. And, the, and, and literally, you are telling y'all, you talk too much, we'll drop an album when you drop. Yeah, how drop or a drop? Yeah, I drop a <laughs> how drop a drop? How drop a hit? Shapa two. But don't you think that mentality is also what keeps him at the top, dog? That competitive mentality of saying, I own this shit, yeah, it's that I one, run it's this, that it's my mentality. game. Yeah. Don't you think? So, what so what's, you? what's now wrong if Ria comes and compare Kavza? And yeah, uh, now he's being a bully. Yeah, he, right. What is wrong with now Ria comes and compare Kavza and, and, and Momo? What's wrong with that? Lionel no, Messi, no, Lionel Messi and Ronaldo have been compared their whole career. Their, their whole, whole career, career and those two are still the greatest to ever live. Yeah. For me, again, it's my opinion. But mm. no one directly compared Kelvin and Cubs. No one directly compared Kevin and Cubs. He's the, that's why I said he didn't watch the episode. He's the one that went and compared them. Do you know we saw with them? Oh, what about compare no? Yeah, that's, that's where we saw them. That's why other bruises are powerful also that have issues with him. Hit up Drake and be like, hey, DM there. Shy, shy, something. Yeah, that thing was my friend. Nah, that thing was proper PR, I think. And okay. then that thing shut down everything. You think it was orchestrated like that? I I like it was, yeah, it was orchestrated. It. it has to be. Every time, every time coffee Bro, moves wait, like wait. that. I, no, I no, just no, gave you clues now. I just gave you every clues. Every time coffee moves like that, co-signing people, you must see. I, I suspected after you wanted to apologize Tiamo. Yeah. Remember the club thingy? And then yeah. Musa Keys is under Tiamo. T -fact. Next thing and he's taking pictures with Musa Keys. And saying legend. And uh, yeah, like, yeah. you know. I want, I, want, I want to ask you a question to give you clues. Okay, this bro took out house music. Took out Afro pop, actually three. Mm. And took hip hop, like, one man job, and celebrated this. Who are the people that were eating with these three genres that you and took? And he took out Gome too. And, also, and, and, and you celebrated it. Was petleke, petleke things. Remember that. And, and you celebrated it. Instead of just being at the, at the driver's seat and enjoy all of that, you didn't do that. You celebrated the fact that because those people, I saw on the live, he comes from shit deals. Mm. Where he comes from? Mm. He said he comes from shit deals. Kalawa. Mm. Kalawa. Where does he come from? Kalawa. What are you saying about Oskido? That he gave you some terrible deals. Yes. I thought that's where he learned the game, though. 
Yeah. He learned the game, but what are you saying about people that signed you previously? So you're saying that he's running with the old mentality of the old industry, like how they used to give them, like, if you hear the Kwaito stories and the deals and the, the, the artists before. Bro. So I, I, I don't want to talk too much about him. One, he has a tendency of contradicting himself a lot. And if, if I'm a piano rapped was designed by him, we're not going to talk. There's not going to be problems. So he, he, I think he, because of how much he did for the game, it feels like anything my piano related it needs to go through him. Like even the Ama Piano Awards, mm. he bashed it. Right? So Ama Piano Rap was not the first. So that was the second one that he bashed. I have the tweets. I screenshot. Even bashed the summers. You see? But my question is, if, if you're going to do all this bashing and all these things, it's like... Um, like... He was saying something about um, the, the, the Ama Piano Rap regarding like... It's like making artists fight categories. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm thinking to myself, in America, there's billboard charts, there's this, 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 this. And those things, you can see that they have a the, 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 the hang of the artist. Like, it's a conversation. Besides the music, there's competing here, they're competing there, there's conversations there. In my head, it's like, how does he expect it to grow? And if awards or people talking to each other, me and you, us talking can make Kelvin and Gabs a fight. Then they were fighting before us. Then they were never friends in the beginning. Because I can't influence Gabriel to wake up today and hate another guy, which he knows. Like, I can't. Because of your own opinion. If I say, okay, I'm comparing Gabriel, forget your person, your personality and you as a person. Just say that comparing your music. That's why you have two names. Yeah. As an artist in this country. Mm. You give us a name for us to talk about that name and what that name does to the game. Mm. Not your, pe- not your who you, you are. You didn't give person. us the name uh, Sepasi, you know, yeah, the ID. Yeah, We're not yeah. discussing that. We don't get there. We discuss the name, the brand. That's what we discuss. And also by us discussing it, we're growing it by the end of the day. It's just that you, whenever you wish you could tell us how to speak about your brand. He wants a dictatorship. Mm. He doesn't want the president. No, 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 no. He doesn't just want to be the president. He doesn't he, want the democracy. He is the president. President, vice president. He's a president, and vice president, parliament. and minister, and everything. And we give that <laughs> to them. CPS. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yes, we give you, I give all to them, but you can't detect which song I play now. So, did you influence Mac G saying all that stuff about him last year? No, 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 I didn't. Because it sounds like the same. Rhetoric, no, you know I, I didn't, mean? bro. No, the same people that went to Mac is the same people that come to me. The same people that go to. Uh, yo, because Mac has been trying yeah, to bring my porisa down. Yeah, he had Nico there. Nah, no. Nah. Bro, it's he wrong. All these it's, it's wrong to say he's trying to bring my porisa down. It's wrong. Mac can't wake up in the morning and say, now I'm going to destroy Ibrandi, ka, 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 You can't. He's not evil. He's not evil. But you came now and you are Kala when I is an artist. We say, bro, I'm seeing flames. Can mm-hmm. someone help me? Why, 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 do you want us to wait until you go depressed? Until you commit suicide. suicide? Okay, but now look, right? Sure, maybe it's Mlindo that went to Mac and said that. Yeah. Two months later, Mlindo is back with my poor Risa, And you know, I just told like, you now. Think about it. Yeah, you but you I just, these two guys like, fight like I just told you. Like again. I just told you now. When you ask me, Sadril and and Musa Keys get along, I said no. I, I I don't know. I can't say yes. I can't say no because those people will then call each other and do PR to bash you, like just to discredit what you said. Mm. So don't do that. So Nico was wrong for going and was not wrong for going on a podcast. He needed to know. He needed to know that is this thing what Mlindo wants. Mm. Because Nico had Mlindo then, single-handedly. He needed to talk to him and ask him, Doc, do you want us to expose this situation and that one or not? And then Mlindo says, yes, let's expose it. And me, I like to keep proof, brah. When I talk to an artist, most of the time, tricky situations, I always find a way to keep proof of what you said. That's why I would never say, Smangman did this and I don't have proof. Mm. I like to pick up my story mm. or whatever it is that I say. There's a lady here on Twitter here and and Poris DM here. Every time Pori goes live or the brew goes live or whoever goes live, she's there sending fire emojis. If I wanted her career down, I would have done that long a long time ago, but I'm not like that. Why do I feel like this lady I can say her name? 
and I know who you're talking about. What's who is it? Because I remember watching that uh, that live, and the only lady there which was going crazy with fire emojis. Uh, who? Lady Do. Lady Do. Mm. Oh, is it Lady Do? I also Do? suspect Lady Do. Yeah. Oh, is it? No, uh, it's a it's a question. Ah, uh, Lady Gi- Lady Do gives me those two faced vibes. Eh? No, but she gives you two faced vibes. <laughs> What's your experience with her like? What? What? Oh, with Lady Do. Personally. Yeah. As a person. Uh, she was managed by a good friend of mine. Yeah. I. No. Oh, that's the same friend that she went on and said all those things about. Like, the money stuff, the, like, uh, the thing of the manager is acting like a superstar and saying that I don't want bookings this week. And she's very opinion- opinionated too. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. She exposes is a lot one? of this shit. Is that it? manager? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, that's my friend. Hmm. Is that same manager? Uh, no, 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 no. The one that took over after. Yeah. And still, she said the same. Ah, she thing. left long time ago. She doesn't oh. have a manager. That one. She's managing herself, and now she's mobilizing other kids to do the same thing. Me, what I don't like about that, it's okay. Here's my issue with with her. You made it big in a game mm. via social media, right? Mm. And you had management mm. that sat down and... Because, like, th- there's two types of managers. There's managers that are receptionists. They just take bookings. They just come. say, receptionist. receptionist. If you do that, you're not a manager. Fuck off. Yeah, you're just a booking You're not a manager. You know nothing about management. Mm. Management. There's management people that are part of the product from the... Like from the inception. someone that come to Soshanguve and say, hey, I see something here. Mm. I can turn this thing into a, 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 a big thing. Mm. That's what I do. And mm. some bros do is close to my, close mm. to me. Mm. I can see something here. I see something here. This boy is a superstar. Mm. Huh, move from Soshanguve. Come stay in Greenstone now. Mm. Or oh, let's go stay in Randbeck. Let's go stay away. Mm. Hey, bro, let's try this. Let's try that until you become that superstar that you are. Mm. You can't fire that one. Yeah. And those who try to fire people like that, they fire themselves from the industry. They're gone. Hey. You see so what, what I'm about, saying? What about so with her, the with her, you'll ask me again later. With her, it's... Then you go on social media and say a statement like this. Umtala, like umtala, sis. Like, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you go and say... You, uh, you go and say, you no longer need social media. These days, you no longer need social media to succeed. And then she wrote there how other kids can succeed or what, what, oh, and, and run. And then... You hear what I'm saying? Put figures. She makes this much. She makes it. She's making it now. Are you making it? How much did you make in December? How many gigs? the screenshots of 400,000 in the bank account. It's, it's not for inspirational purposes. If you want to give me an inspiration, why are you telling me on social media? How did I hear it? Delete your social media and tell me on your WhatsApp. I want to say something. That's also social media. She must go and yeah, but delete shy, it. De- shy intercom. Yeah, she tweet. must delete Twitter, <laughs> delete Instagram, delete Facebook, delete everything, and then run the business and show us. Not tell us on social media that we don't need social you media. Think she's misleading. She's misleading a lot of kids just because she sees good. She's on the detail. She's shy. It's cut. And now she came and became and become all this. Uh, she, she acts like a mother to this abobasi and um, bullshit. Nah, nah. But, but I know we, you, bro. We can't, we can't take away that she's talented. Huh? She's talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very talented. But her talent so she can ha- come back anytime. Nah, no, she can't. I believe she can. Uh, I don't know. Wow. How? How do you see her coming back? Wow, wow. Working with the same people she worked with. What, what's the problem with... with what remember what I said. She can't remember remember what I said. Those who tried to fire the winning formula, the formula that makes you, they went down. So she burned those bridges. So she burned them. Mm. So what you're saying is that it's not a cause of a lack of talent. No, no, no. She's... Uh, yo, you know lady do can sing, bro. Yeah. And DJ. And DJ. I think she can play keyboard as well. She's too much. I think she can play keyboard. She can sing. Like, yeah. that lady can sing. Yeah. She can sing. But it's about the relationship. Yeah. She can sing, Because she didn't bro. even have music of her own. She was always featured. Bro, Fish. bro. If I can come ahead to you and tell you that I can go social media, yeah, that was crazy. Like, so my point Coming is... Coming up to the dead. Yeah, my point is don't mislead other kids. You can see be inspirational, quiet, silent. Because the kids know what you did for the game. They know how talented you are. They can just take and learn from whatever it is. If one comes and asks for advice, 
give the advice based on your experience and your opinion. Not you now go through our social media just because one or two girls that you're close to ask you something and then waba pendula. And then now you feel like you can write these quotes. Mm-mm. Yeah, Galonto. Girls, she's lying. You need social media to be successful. <laughs> she's lying. We are talker. <laughs> she used it too. And she's still using it. It's wrong. That is wrong. So I'm saying that I know things that if I tell, I know things that I say now, her career is gone and she knows it. But I'm not a bad person. I'm not going to be that guy. Mm. But luckily, like you're going to be a dictator. And she did it to another woman. Yes, That's keeper. worse. So I know things now, if I say it, all these people that you're sending fire emojis with because the industry is two-faced, they're going to block you. You're not going to go into their lives anymore. They're going to cheat. Because they don't want to be associated with you. So I, I, I had so much respect for her. Like, yo, bro, I had so much respect for her and how she did the music and how talented she is and everything. I tell this thing as in her, man, she's a great guy. She's bringing some Mama Winnie Mandela bullshit in a different energy. <laughs> It's not right. <laughs> for me, I saw when she started fighting with notes that uh, it's, it's child for her. She not now. also fight with Musa Keys about awards. Oh yeah, yeah, and the Musa Keys awards comment. But I'll ask you again. If I can go head to head with my father that I don't know on social media, who are you? Yeah, yeah, no one. Who are you? So I have nothing against her. It's, 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 I'm just saying that sometimes you will do a lot of work with who, like quiet. Be quiet. We have mm. nothing to say. Because check now, bro. Every tweet that is interesting, your first comment, yeah, yeah. Okay, go check. <laughs> <laughs> go, go check. Ah, uh, but go check it out. There's nothing wrong with that. I am saying. All I'm saying is that she's using social media. You inspired two or three people through social media. Why now you're saying these kids don't need social media to succeed? What are you talking about? You know, maybe she was trying to say it's not the only avenue. Like nah, nah, she should have said things. that. Okay, which other avenue she's using here, nah? She doesn't disclaim. I'm asking you, which one is the other one? Why not add that one so we can learn? Which one? All I'm hearing is, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But don't get it twisted. Lady Do is very talented. I'm, I'm just saying that all this thing of advocating and and I had the brew when it was in the life. Um, The Bruce said, yeah, you must check these managers. Sometimes they can scam you. You must check all these invoices. She got that from her. Because this is what had happened. At some point, I managed a strip club. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm managing that strip club. And that club, strip club gives my company mm-hmm. the tender to bring artists there. Entertainment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right mm-hmm. now, it's my company doing that. Remember, my company can't pay you as an artist because they don't know you, and also the companies need to work with people they trust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if I pay this one, that person will show up. Mm-hmm. Right. So if the company pays me and I come to you and I want to book you mm-hmm. and I go through your management, not mm-hmm. even you personally, mm-hmm. go through your management and your management says, uh, "I want 20. and I say, "No, bro, can't we do 15? Mm-hmm. Because it's local mm-hmm. and there's more gigs around. Mm. And as managers, we work like that. Mm-hmm. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. And then your manager say, ah, no, it's fine. We can operate. I'm getting something closer. Mm. Remember, it's a local gig. Mm. And then your manager sends me the invoice. Mm. Right? Mm. And I pay the invoice that the manager sent to, you, to mm. me. And I'm not paying to the manager's account. The invoice is on your business account mm. as the artist. Mm. Right? And then how much I made... From me to mm. the owner of the club. Mm. It's now none of your business. Yeah, it's a booking fee. You hear what I'm saying? Mm. So what went wrong there is that she changed management mm. again mm. and again. And then the book was done, the booking was done prior. Like, yeah, bro. She changed management there and then started managing herself. She gave herself a name. I forgot the name. There's a name there, but when you call, she doesn't take the call. Only chats on WhatsApp. Mm. She changed the name. So now... The gig is close by, like it's seven days before the gig. So I hit her up. Or I hit the manager up. And the manager said, hey, bro, I'm no longer doing that a lot now. But I, I don't have issues with her. It's just that I took a break or we took a break from each other. Like with the things that we're trying to fix, I can't respond on that right now. Yeah. Please contact her or, or contact this number. So I contact that number, which is her again on WhatsApp. And I contact her on a personal WhatsApp because we used to chat. Mm. 
We used to chat. Mm. We were good. And hey, crazy, bro. And then uh, she's in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I see this person's in the UK. And the reason why I'm texting them, I want to know that are you going to be here on time? Mm. She took the money, though. The money is there. Everything is there. Everything is paid for. Mm. There's proof. There's everything. Yeah. Obviously, the promoter pays me more because I need to bring three more artists this weekend. Mm. Right? I'm not going to send all money for the three artists with you. Yeah. And I still need to keep my commission. Yeah. It's, it's how it works. Yeah. Right? So, she doesn't say she's still in the UK. But I can see. And I kept texting, hey, bro, are you going to make it? She didn't say anything, bro, until the day of the event. And even on the day of the event, mm. four hours before, mm. the same woman that she mobilized that day, you must manage yourself. Mm. I was working with, she managed, I was driving because we are rushing to the gig. I gave her the phone mm. and I said, please text. Mm. Nah? Please tell her this, please tell her that. And, and, and until 7 p.m. when I said, bro, the owners of that strip club are not people you want to mess with. Are you going to make it or what? What's going on? Mm. You hear what I'm saying? Mm. Only then she said, hey, me, I'm in the I mean, UK. I'm not going to make it to that gig. Then take, can they get another day? I'm like, that's not going to happen. It's too late now. You're going to get in trouble. Mm. And those guys are not people you want to fuck with. Mm. You know, most strip clubs are owned by Russians and whatnot. Mm. And I be, you, bro, I can show you my, I told her, bro, those people you don't want to fuck with. Mm. I myself, I do things by the book because I don't want to mess with them. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? Mm. She undermined the whole situation. Nine, I've been eight o'clock. She said, okay, I spoke to Young Stana. Young Stana will come perform. I don't, do you hear what I'm saying now? You spoke to Young Stana, Young Stana will come perform. Right? No, no, no. Obviously, she yeah. gave some of the money, not all of it. Mm. Because it's how it works. The same thing I do oh, with people the, do that, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if I have a relationship direct with you as an artist, I'm fine. If I can again, make it, yeah, again, yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You will go if it helps you. You are not mm. planning for that money, so obviously you're going to make it. Young Sana goes there. I wasn't in a club. I was, like I said, I was driving with, with this artist to this event. Young Sana gets there. I don't know what went wrong. The promoter says this. Young Sana's team says that. And then Young Sana don't perform at all. Ooh. He leaves. Then those guys get pissed. And they're like, we want our money back. Mm. Right? Mm. And I told her, like, hey, bro, we need to refine this, bro. Yeah, but Young Sana went there and whatnot. I'm like, hey, Mo, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. These people want their money back. That's mm. what I said to her. We need to send the money back. So what happens there, you need to in, send my money back to my account, which is my company account, so that I can send all the money that the promoter paid me. You hear what I'm saying? She didn't want to do that. I was like, I, since we're struggling here and I don't want to fight with you a lot, I respect you so much to fight with you. I, Lada, let me give the promoters the number. And then I give the promoter the number. And the, the, the number I gave is the manager's number. Can the manager win? Remember, this brew is white, so he doesn't even know how Lady Do looks like. Mm. So he goes and meet her, they have a back and forth. They have a, but to me, when I say give that person the phone you are talking to, she doesn't want to talk on the phone because now she will know that. I'll say, that is exactly the artist that you're talking on with. Hey, man. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So it was back and forth, and then she sent the money back to them, and I sent my money, uh, I sent my commission to them. Mm. And then it was done. But then she goes and I take the other manager. Hey, me and the other manager they, they, that did the booking. Hey, you guys are stealing my money. Why? They said here they paid how much? You guys paid me this much. What was happening? Do do. That's exactly what happened. And you know, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, on. Yeah. As managers, we build relationships. And if you must know, these artists need to learn to respect their managers. Mm. If you see yourself in Rustenbeck and Puluqua and all the time, it's not because you are actually getting booked. Some of them is just like... It's, it's, because because the manager has it's a relationship, relationship I have with that promoter. Mm. Mm. And because promoters don't want to risk with paying people that, and then people not showing up, they rather work with someone that they, that they know if the man is there, this artist will be here. Mm. Because they take the... They, they go out on the, day. the time you change management, mm. you go to another people. That people don't have a relationship with those promoters there. You're not going to go there again. Okay. It's, it's going to be very rare. It's really going to be very rare for you to go back. That's why her bookings went... That lady was booked, man. That lady was yeah, booked. Was At some point, she was somewhere in KZN with no voice. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah. That's how bad it was. Because of five bookings, I think it was five or six gigs in one day. At some point. Yeah. And her voice was gone. Gone, 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 gone. Those are the That's how busy that lady was. Seven to two days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think there's a lot that as black people we suffer with. Like I have my own issues from the streets. I've been molested and whatnot. And it has its own ways of coming back. Even now when I leave those things and I try to focus on myself, they do come back. So as we, we as black people, we're broken people, bro. Like yeah. we, we go through a lot, a lot of shit. And also as artists to, to, to in, in, in their defense, I say this many times, artists have a lot of demons, suffer from a lot of demons, anxiety, and a lot of things, and they still need to be creative. They need to get to a place where they say, yeah, we are smile, man. Yeah, bo. Fully pass, boom. Hey, mama, snap microphone. Yeah, perform, man. Like they need to smile. So they suffer. They go a lot. Of, they go through a lot of things. Mm. They don't sleep. Has sli- their sleeping patterns are. Yeah, bo. Like they, 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 they don't have the life that you have. That you do a podcast now and then go home and rest. They don't have that. So we need to respect all of them. Mm. With, with, with regards no to that, and how, even even Musa Keys, yeah, even yeah, even Bordy, Musa Keys, even, Cubs, even like everyone, like I said, everyone, even Musa Keys. I don't know it, Musa Keys, bro. I just said my honest opinion as a musician myself and a songwriter. Mm-mm. You can't say. What about Sir Trill? What What's your relationship with? What have you helped him with? Help with? Yeah, help is what's wrong. Your relationship man. with? Help is wrong. We we'll work together. Help is wrong. Mm. What did you do? When you say help, you say color pants. No, no, no. We work no, together. Saying, where did you assist? You know, where did you, actually, uh, assist, where did you meet? assist with a couple of bookings. Uh, given and I, given baby and I are uh, close friends and we work together. We do the same thing with other artists we don't have to mention. Uh, but you asked me about him, so I'm going to answer. So was that thing and I have buses, so I, I would road manage them with my buses and all those things. Uh, we had a good relationship. Um, we have we have over 15 songs recorded together under my label. Gantin is one of them. Um, is he signed with you? Or no, 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 he's not signed. With, he's not signed anyway. He's not signed anyway. Why did it take so long for him to drop the album? Again, now it's going to be that thing that you couldn't end up as a fool. Yeah, but it's the, it's the, Okay, you don't have to answer much. So that whole horror story is that he recorded with him. And there was a back and forth, like, in terms of releasing it, was an issue. I think there was a back and forth. But, uh, but I, don't, I, no, I don't know if that's the issue, but I think there was a back and forth. Oh. There's always a back and forth with Ama Piano because when we start making the music, they, we, there's no structure. There's no solid structure. Which, okay, a percentage of okay, I'm going to play. Okay, Ama Piano, I'm I'm a piano it's based, they work based on energies. It's, we can be seated here, there's a lot of booze, put Ama Rider, and then boom, there's a hit. So, it's how... Tomorrow when you sober up, it's the different decisions. Ne- not even. Only when now that person wants to release the song and now you hear it like, hey, now I think... I want it. I think I want it. I think it, I did more and whatnot. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Do you think Ama Piano would be better if people were more sober? You, th- you think what? Ama Piano, like as a genre as a whole, do you think if people were more sober, do you think it would do better? Like contracts? No. Decisions? The alcohol is important. Focus. Alcohol is very important. I vibe. think if Ama Piano artists allowed managers to work and do their job. Mm. That's all you need to do as a piano artist or any artist. If, if, if I'm your manager, you need to allow me to do my job. And if I make a mistake, hold me accountable for it. You can't manage, we can't manage your brand together. That's true. You so see, they need to trust you and give you full you control. Try, yes, yes, yes. There's artists that, hey, Usman Banu and Zendo, so, Stiki Chiki Lomundam for the LM, and I was a chef to the session, boom. There's that person. You just see on the live and be like, how? And then, you see what I'm saying? So, my piano, you can't take away the alcohol. I, I do, I do wish though, they can start also focusing on a healthy lifestyle, like try to be healthy because they're not. Mm. I don't know if there's no time to, to be healthy, but to, to, to what do, what if do there's you time mean? for alcohol, there's time to be healthy. Mm. What do you mean? Uh, because like being sober is healthy. Or do no, you mean but physically fit? I mean, uh, mentally, physically, and everything. Like, Working on what? The image okay, also. Okay, have a timetable to where you do things that keep you healthy. 
Mm. I, I don't think it's there. So hitting the gym and stuff. Yeah, I, I've never seen, like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I've never seen any of my piano artist in the gym. In the gym. <laughs> uh, besides Casper, as friends of He's not a piano, piano artist. He's friends of a mm-hmm. piano. Casper is a friend of everyone. <laughs> No, no, that, no, no, like seriously, he's a friend of everyone and every channel. That guy is very smart, bro. Casper yeah. is very smart. Mm. You must give Casper that, bro. Casper is very smart. And, and to be honest with you, one of the managers I look up to in this country is it's Tilly. Mm. I say this many times. That bro is on another level. Mm. Why though? What does he do? Like, can you... No, I think, I, think what, I think it's what his artists do for him, which is the artist allows him to take risks. Mm. And if if those risks fail, I don't think Kes goes to Till and be like, oh, I to it. Oh. Versus other men, other artists are like that. And and another thing I wanted to say is for the um, uh, Sinom Solo thing. Sinom Solo came, I think it went out wrong and I don't know how he got it. I didn't say Sinom can sing. No. Sinom Solo can sing. I was just okay. saying that I think him doing my piano sells him short. Uh, he's a, he's, he's I a think he's, he's a vers- I think he's a better musician than I'm a piano. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying if he he can be the next Ringo Majlingos, he or he can be that Ringo Majlingos as a Kosa person. I know the power that is got in his voice. Um, I didn't say he can't sing. He can sing. He he's a good songwriter. He backs up his own vocals and everything. He's he's really dope. I mean, like, the, and the, I, I, I love, but I actually love his music. I, mean, I, I love his music. For us, the aim is not to down or track down no no but no, it's no. like just talking what we know is true because it helps the next generation it helps the people inside it and also they the, the people which are doing all these things can do better honestly yes they can do better you know uh but like with you we brought it up as we closing like the whole dimple situation like everyone jiggling her and firing her she got fired supreme yeah, yeah. I, bro I, I, if if you got fired and you were just a receptionist for that brand. Mm. It's fine. It's fine. If she got fired and she was just a receptionist for that brand. Meaning if that if that's just... how that artist feels, like she was just a receptionist. They can do without her. They can do without her. It's fine. And also, they're not God. Mm. If she's really smart, she will stand up and she will do something about it and away from all of them and still come out strong. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? And me, personally, I, like, most artists from my artists, like, now, and, and my artists now, I don't think no artist will wake up in the morning and fire me from my own music. Mm. You can't fire me from my own music. So that means that she wasn't needed, ne? Yeah. In the first place. For, were, you, for me, they were looking for excuses. They were waiting. And here's the thing with brands, with artist management. There's people that don't want to start you up. But there's people which want to take you and you're up. But there's managers waiting for you to be here and then bam. It's, they're whispering things in those Yeah, they're always, there's always whispering, bro. There's always, there's always, there's always whispering. So that's, that's what I said. Good team. For me, I, I think she was not adding much value to them. She was just a receptionist. A manager, 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 artist manager, bro, will think, what is my next move before they even artist sees it? Mm. Mm. And implement it and then make it work. And then the artist must take credit. So these, 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 these call center managers, those are the ones that end up being superstar managers. managers. Yeah, they want to end up being superstars manager. Hey, you know if, them. They yeah, start getting tattoos. Yeah, if they go in the bar, uh, if you go, if they have a rider there with champagne and then you get there, the, the managers, they want drinking the most expensive champagne there, not the artist. Those are superstars managers. So I'm not like, uh, uh, she, she, I don't think she was one of them. Ish. But hey, sorry, I'm fine. I'm off on the span. I mean, I'm going to talk about how she's going to be a man. I'm going to talk to you. 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 I hope you really stand up and do something great okay. and, 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 and still continue to speak your mind. Because it's, it's your own opinion. It wasn't South Africa's opinion. Which is now Drake came and did something else anyway. But my no. thing is, if she can, she can think that is right to say, ne? even though I feel like she could have worded it better. That means you can see that there's a gap there that you as Amapiano artists are not touching. 
Which is the story? The educational point. The educational point. And also for me, bro, this thing of them coming out here and act like, hey, we see as one, hey, see as one. Go to the gigs, go backstage. You see, they don't. None of them are friends. They don't <laughs> greet mm. each other. Especially. Ah, no, no, no. You don't know this big label brands when you wear them. It clashes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And fragrances. It's, and especially and especially and the female ones. They, oh, it's negative. Especially like. the female. Why? No, though? they don't greet each other. Uh, they don't greet each other. And it was, uh, I would expect these people to like say hi. They don't. Mm. As managers, we know when we get to the venue, hey, so they must not come being bocotas on social media <laughs> and, and bring the all mama win energy here mm. when behind the scenes they mm. they can't even greet each other. It's, I don't understand like what's the problem there? Is it jealousy? What exactly? Is jealousy it? as well and energies. And energies. It's, it's, it's inevitable, especially when so much money is involved in piano. Uh, bro, there's so much man in piano. Again, Pori made it possible. Bro, Pori, Pori gave power to a lot of kids. Mm. Uh, and and, 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 and Pori, what, he, what Pori did for the game, mm. because I'm speaking nice about him, I'll mention hey. his name. What Pori did... I was oh, starting to think maybe those two bullets say... No, 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 not even. They your mind. No, not even. Ah, uh, bro, he's not God, bro. You kill me, someone else will kill someone you care about. That's my statement for him. What you are you about to say now? I'm saying if he kills me, someone will kill someone he cares, he cares about a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Before that, you're but you were saying something positive. I'll set it about up it. myself <laughs> if he does that. If he tries that shit again, if it's him and he tries that, he will kill me, but someone will kill someone you care a lot about. Hey, and man. you're not even thinking about it. end. No, no, it's one end. It's going to be cats, and everything. Sure. Yeah, so Lempili say corner. But I'm not that guy. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not that guy. So I wanted to say what he did great is he opened up the industry even for buses. We start buying buses now. Young kids, start, young people start buying buses because you know buses get booked with my piano artists. Buses are left and right. Check a weekend away now. My bus He brought the business for Mercedes Benz. It's poor, bro. Oh, FN cars. Because people saw him uh, vying on a Mercedes on a V class. Everybody wants it now. He's got. What's two. the standard rate for that villa to hire them out? Uh, to hire them out, yeah. 5k a night. Oh, you have a business like that? Well, damn it. 5k for the bus. With a driver, no and there's a serious if you want to, yeah, thing. without a driver. If you want to, you want a driver, I go to like 5.5 or 6k. Oh, 6k with a driver. Yeah, yeah. And you have to bring it back by what time? And then, uh, no, no, if you take it uh, 10 o'clock in 10 a.m., you need to make sure the bus is back here at 10 a.m. Or 24 it's, hours. 24 hours. After that, you need to pay more. Oh. So, shout out to him, bro. Like, shout out to Pori for ah, that. Shout out to Pori. We opened up a lot of businesses for people. Those who wanted to eat around that, they, they, they made a plan to do that. And, and the apology that is demanding, ah, bro, I can't apologize, dog, if I don't know what I did wrong. Like, I don't know what I did wrong, so I can't apologize. I've been trying to call him to be like, hey, dog. Let's talk. In doing the tetile wrong, so that he makes me understand. And the only thing I imagine now is that whatever it is that happened, and he, you can't make me respond for, for the entire I'm a piano rap. Mm. <laughs> you can't hold me accountable for that. It's not my show. But it looked like you were the ringleader there. No, for no, party. no. The was the ringleader. But now if you come and say, Musa Kiss can sing, they say, no, he can't. Mm. And then move on. It's, it's my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Right, it's my opinion. So I, I, I will apologize. I'm not saying no to not up to, to apologizing. I'm saying if, if you do take my call and you explain to me what I said wrong personally, I'll call you again or I'll apologize or I'll do a public apology but until then I can't apologize dog and and you go eat the game now like and fun thing band I go eat again and tell you you like I don't not go to gym because I'm thinking you're coming after me no 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 <laughs> I'm gonna go to gym I'm gonna go to a strip club like if you want bro there's my picture there there's my number there on, on, on my, my bio on insta bro like you can get a hold of me it's easy I respect you you're great and all of that but you coming and try to scare me and force the respect out of me it's wrong it's wrong 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 and you're not gonna get it that way I, I feel like we should end on that note. Yeah. Hi, Sviso. It's been real. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Sviso. You need a whole day to, to talk to me, bro. Like, yeah. you can't give me an hour. Like, there's so much, bro. We can, oh, wait, we, wait. We, before we, we leave, like, can I just say that I saw somewhere that there's there's something that they forgot they at Zenzu. 
Because the first time I went to Zenzu, I was with you and I got too drunk. So I heard that there's something that they forget in the, in the hookahs or whatever. They, it just makes you feel like you have some drug after you leave. Hey, I don't know. Now you're going to get you me. You haven't heard this story. Ah, now you're going to get me killed. You haven't Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Hey, hey. I'm on now. Now, you hey, see, now, no, no. See. now. Now, no, well, I, mean, I read a tweet, though. You read a tweet? it made sense because I was like, I've never been the way I was that night. I've never. Is it? Yeah. I, I don't know. I've been in, at Zanzu many times and uh, taking artists there and I have a good relationship with both Zanzu and Moloko. Yeah. Uh, personally, I've never experienced it. I saw the tweet you're talking about. You saw it? Yeah. But I've never experienced it, so I can't... I cool. Comment on that. I know it's been real. Yeah. Episode 83. Shout out. Shout out, guys. <laughs>